Hey everybody, today's question is, is evil punished? Now that's a big deal question and we can go super theologically here because the big deal is it really depends on what you mean when you talk about evil. Do you mean some kind of a cosmic opposite to good? Do you mean that we live in a binary universe? If you're a, a religious person like me, do you mean that you have to have a devil in order to have God, for example? Now, I've made some movies in the past. I encourage you to go back on the Ask Dieter page and look at some of those questions about good and evil and all of that. But let's get down to it. Right now, I can go pretty quick. Here's the deal for me. My concept of God is too big for there to be any kind of an opposite. There's no other power in my life. Now, you can go biblically with that over and over again. The Bible says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. There's a commandment about having only one power in your life. We're told to keep your eyes single. All of that over and over again. I don't believe that God requires an opposite. I don't think it works that way. It doesn't make sense to me. My God is just too big. Now you can go logically with that if you don't want to go there theologically with me. Think about the fact that the important things in life don't have opposites. You know, we talk about up and down and all that, but that's a logical convenience. In the, in the real world of experience, there's, there's no such thing as opposites. We invented that concept to have a shortcut to understanding things, but there's no opposite to the color yellow. There's no opposite to a cheese sandwich. There's no opposite to you. There's no opposites in the real world. And so what I'm trying to tell you is you don't have to have an evil power in order to experience a good power. You don't have to have pain in order to experience pleasure. You know better than that. And that kind of thinking is a cheap shot way of thinking. It allows you to put up with less from yourself. It allows you to go, oh, the devil made me do it, when you know that you were supposed to take responsibility and all of that. So if you're talking about evil as some kind of power, I don't believe it exists. Now. You can go theologically, you can go logically, you can go historically. When you realize that over and over again, the arc of history bends towards justice, sometimes it takes a while. Over and over again, you can't unlearn a good idea. When you feel love, you can't unfeel that. When you know better, you know better. You can't grow backwards, in other words. There is an evolutionary progression, a growth to our human experience as individuals and as a people, yes. Some people have done really terrible things, and it's convenient, I suppose, to use the word evil to label that, and, and I'm not here to argue that. Like I said, I, I worry that when people use evil, they're cubbyholing it and doing a cheap shot, because when I call something evil, what I'm really saying is, then I'm not gonna fix it. I'm not gonna make it better, because that now has the E word attached to it, and it just, it is what it is. I don't believe in evil people. I believe that everything is fixable, everything is healable, and so I don't believe in labeling that way. Yeah, people have done some terrible stuff, but we can fix that. Let's keep it in the realm of what is fixable. Yes, sometimes it takes a while for the ark to bend towards justice, but that's in the realm of human decision. When you look at the things that people would call evil, you're always talking about somebody doing something selfish or dumb or whatever. Are those things punished? Sure, of course they are. Now, you could talk about the legal system and all that. That's part of it. But the truth is, being a jerk is a punishment in and of itself. When you act terribly, you have a terrible experience. Charles Fillmore, the great unity teacher and writer and speaker and theologian. Charles Fillmore, look him up. Charles Fillmore said, remember, we're not punished for our sins. We're punished by our sins. And one of the things I think he means is it's not like there's some external judge going to jump down on you when you least expect it, because that implies distance and that implies time. When we're talking about right here and right now, one presence, one power, the whole thing. So what I'm trying to say is you do something dumb, selfish, let's say, you don't have to wait for somebody to judge it and then um, hit you back with your punishment. You do something selfish, you immediately experience the results of living selfishly. Think about your life. You know that. Think about people you know. Well, yeah, but when people do bad things, sometimes they have a lot of money in a private jet. Yeah, they do. But is a lot of money in a private jet the, the, the measure of living the good life? You know as well as I do that you can be perfectly miserable with a million dollars in the bank. You know as well as I do that you can live your life completely needy of other people's approval and other people's attention and be really rich and powerful. That has nothing to do with anything. 
Is evil punished? Yes, evil is punished by the action itself. We are not punished for our sins, we're punished by them. And so think about your life if you're feeling punished. Don't blame that other person. Don't call somebody else evil. Look at your life and go, how can I fix? How can I heal? How can I grow? The arc of history bends towards justice and growth and evolution. Let's move with it instead of against it. And everything gets better. Thank you for the questions. Keep them coming. You know you can send in the questions by going to my website, waypastok.com. You can also post a tweet or an Instagram message with the hashtag AskDieter. Keep those questions coming. Please like and subscribe and absolutely share these videos. It means an awful lot to me. And I'm going to remind you, as always, my new book, Meaning Fulfilled, is out there on Amazon. You can find it by looking for my name on Amazon. Or once again, just go to my website, waypastok.com, and there's a link to all the books and all the other stuff I've written. Thanks a lot. You got this.